akili 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 Boop de do flip 1 flip 2 I just love to come with you let's go When I say touch your head touch your head One. When I say touch your arms touch your arms Two. When I say touch your legs touch your legs Two. When I say touch your toes, touch your toes. Hey, faster. When I say touch your head, touch your head. One. When I say touch your arms, touch your arms. Two. When I say touch your legs, touch your legs. Two. When I say touch your toes, touch your toes. Hey. Touch your head, touch your head, touch your toes, touch your toes. Touch your head, touch your head, touch your toes, touch your toes. When I say touch your head, touch your head. When I say touch your arms, touch your arms. When I say touch your legs, touch your legs. When I say touch your toes, touch your toes. Touch your head, touch your head, touch your toes, touch your toes. Touch your head, touch your head, touch your toes, touch your toes. Touch your arms, touch your arms, touch your legs, touch your legs, touch your arms, touch your arms, touch your legs, touch your legs. When I say touch your head, touch your head. When I say touch your arms, touch your arms. When I say touch your legs, touch your legs. When I say touch your toes, touch your toes. Touch your head, touch your legs, touch your arms, touch your toes, touch your toes. Touch your arms, touch your legs, touch your head, touch your toes. Touch your toes. When I say touch your head, touch your head. When I say touch your arms, touch your arms. When I say touch your legs, touch your legs. When I say touch your toes, touch your toes. Touch your head, touch your head, touch your toes, touch your toes. Touch your head, touch your head, touch your toes, touch your toes. Today, Akili decided to draw a picture of herself. She drew a round head, two beautiful eyes, one nose, one mouth, and two little ears. Now, Akili is very tired. It's time for Akili to put away her pencils and go to sleep. Good night, Akili. Oh, wow! Akili is in La La Land! She woke up under a big old tree. Wow! This must be Mr. Tree. The oldest tree in La La Land. Mr. Tree is sleeping. whoop de doo Hello, Akili! Little lion, hello, bush baby. <sighs> hello, I'm Mr. Tree. Who are you? <coughs> and what should Achilles say? I am Achilles. I am Achilles. Who are you? I am Achilles. Nice to meet you. <gasps> nice to meet you, Achilles. Oh, Mr. Tree is so old. He does not hear very well. Say hello to Mr. Tree. Hello, Mr. Tree. Mr. Tree is the oldest tree in all of La La Land. He is magical. But to keep his magic, Mr. Tree needs to drink water from the magic pond. But the magic pond is in a secret hiding spot. Can you help Achille? To find it and bring Mr. Tree some water? Yes! Wow! Mr. Tree has a special book that will tell them how to find the water from the magic pond. Hmm, clue one. The book says, the magic pond is in a place that smells so lovely because it is filled with flowers. We need a big nose! <coughs> nose! 
nose? With a nose that big, surely he can smell the special flowers. Can you say the word nose? Nose! Yes! One nose! Nose! Monkey, you've used your big nose to get them to this field full of beautiful smelling flowers. But the field is too big. We need another clue to find the magic pond. Let's see. The book says, the pond is in a place where the flowers are a bright, bright red. I can help. Whoa! Big eyes. Eyes? Giraffe has such big eyes. With big eyes like that, she can see very far. And she can help Achille and friends find the red flowers. Eyes to eyes. giraffe for using your big eyes to find the place with red flowers. But the place is still too big. We need another clue. Aha! The next clue is to go to a bush where the birds are singing. We need good ears. Ears? We use our ears to hear. Achille and friends need help from someone with good ears so they can hear the tiny birds sing. I wonder who has good ears that can help. What do we use to hear? You know this one, Achille. Ears! That's right, Achille. And how many ears do you have on your head? Two ears. Let's use our ears to listen to the birds. These are my ears, these are my ears. I use them to hear, I use them to hear. Big ears! <laughs> Thanks for the help, elephant. But there are two bushes with lots of birds. Which one could it be? Give us the last clue, little lion. Hmm. Aha! Okay. The book says they have to find the bush with a delicious fruit. But the fruits are very hard to open. We need a strong mouth. Mouth? They need someone with a very, very, very strong and big mouth that can help them open the fruits. Mouth! Look! Big mouth! Mm -hmm. One mouth! Oh my! It's a crocodile! And she has a very big mouth. She can help them open and taste the fruit. Can you try the fruit? <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> oh, that must be the wrong one. The fruit tastes so bad. The other bush has fruit that is so tasty. Yummy! That's the right bush. Akili! Get under the bush to find the magic pond. Wow! Achille, take a big leaf from the bush to carry the water back to Mr. Tree. He is going to be so happy.
Now Mr. Tree can drink the water from the magical pond. Akili's mother. It's time for Akili to go home. Mother! Let's go to the rainbow! That's right, Akili. You need to find the rainbow to get home to your mother. Say all the words she has just learned. What do we use to see? Eyes. Eyes. Two eyes. Eyes. Now the face has two eyes. The face still needs something in the middle that's used to smell. Do you remember what it's called? Nose! Nose! One nose! Nose! That's right, Akili. Now it has a nose as well. But it also needs something to hear the birds sing. Do you remember what we used to hear? Ears! Now the face needs something else so that it can drink water and eat yummy fruit. Can you remind Akili what it is? Mouth! One mouth! Good work! The cloud has gone away! Yay! Yay! Now, Akili can go home to her mother. Say bye to your friends, Akili. Now it's time for Akili to start her day. She will wash her face and remember the words she learned in La La Land. One nose, two eyes, two ears, one mouth. But tonight, when she goes to bed, a whole new adventure awaits. Bush Baby is so excited to draw. Get your paper and colors out to draw with Bush Baby. Today, he wants to draw a happy face. <laughs> okay, Bush Baby, look at the shape of a face. Do you remember the name of this shape? Ooh, can you help Bush Baby remember? Work, Bush Baby. That is a good circle. Now, draw it on your paper. Ta -da! Well done. What should you draw on your face? Can you draw two smaller circles inside your big circle, Bush Baby? <laughs> Bush Baby. Is that where your eyes are? Oh! Aha! Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh my! What an artist you are, Bush Baby! It's time for your next challenge! 
Can you draw two ears? Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. um, That's right! Your face needs one nose. I think a circle would make a good nose. Very good! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Bush Baby thinks he's done. Is he done drawing a happy face? No! Huh? Mm -hmm. A face is not a face without a mouth. Oh! Why? This is your biggest challenge so far, Bush Baby. Now, you need to draw only half of the circle. Try it. Look at that! You have drawn a really happy face, Bush Baby. Wow! Great work, Bush Baby. <laughs> Yay! Bush Baby wants you to draw too. Take a picture of your drawing and send it into Bush Baby with your name. He'll add it to his... Today, Akili was so active. She used her legs to jump high up in the sky. And then she used her arms to carry her baby brother around. And she used her whole body to dance to her favorite songs. Time for her to say good night. Good night, Akili. Oh my! Look at the palm trees. Look at all that sand. Look at the ocean. This must be La La Land Beach. on his arms instead of his legs. Tell Akili who that is. Happy Hippo! I like to read. Wait! Look. I think Bush Baby sees something strange. It's round and it looks like it has two little eyes, a nose and a mouth. What could it be? Wow wow. Wow wow. <laughs> Bush baby. <laughs> it's a coconut and it looks just like a face. got a bunch of green leaves, like beautiful green hair. But what should they do with Mr. Coconut? Let's make a doll for Baby Hippo! Ah, 
Ah, what a nice idea! They are going to make a doll for Baby Hippo. But the doll has some missing body parts. Body! Body? That's right. There are different parts of your body. Baby loves the coconut doll. He's hugging it. But it can't hug him back. What body parts does the doll need so that it can hug too? Arms! 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 Well done, Akili! That's right. We need arms to hug. Little Lion is looking for big sticks that can be strong legs for the toy. He wants it to be able to jump so high. Legs! Good job, Little Lion! Now it has got two strong legs that he can use for running and jumping. Let's help Akili learn this new word. Baby Hippo is going to be so happy with her new toy. The toy has a head, a beautiful face, a body, two long arms and two jumping legs. It's time for them to take the toy to Baby Hippo. The doll wants to teach Baby Hippo the body song. Can you sing it with him? Akili. Oh, Akili's mother is calling. She has to find the rainbow to get back home. Let's go! Let's run, run, run. Let's run, run, run. To the rainbow. Let's jump, jump, jump. Let's jump, jump, jump. Let's jump, jump, jump. To the rainbow. They found the rainbow. But a cloud is blocking the way home. It wants Akili to say the words she has learned today. Legs! Legs? Yes! Remember, you use your legs to run and jump. Let's remind Akili which body part we use to run and jump. Legs! Good job! And what's the next word, Happy Hippo? Good job, Akili! 
The word cloud is gone and the rainbow can take you home to your mother. to wake up. Today, Akili will use her arms to paint, her legs to play football, and her head to count. But tonight, when the sun goes down, a whole new adventure awaits. Bush Baby is so excited to draw. Get your paper and colors out to draw with Bush Baby. Today, Bush Baby wants to draw his friend Akili. Let's start with the face. You can draw a face using a circle. Let's start with the face. You can draw a face using a circle. That's right. What can we add to his face? Yes, Bush Baby. It needs eyes. Draw two circles that will make good eyes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great! Let's try and draw ears. And maybe a little nose too. Good job, Bush Baby. Your face is almost done. What else does it need? <laughs> That's right. It needs a mouth. Let's make a happy, smiling mouth. Great work, Bush Baby! Now that the face is finished, how do we draw the body? Mm, wow, wow, wow. That's right, Bush Baby! You can do so much when you know how to draw a circle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Bush Baby, I think your friend needs a bigger body than that. <laughs> You've got it, Bush Baby. What else do we need to draw on a body? That's right. Let's draw two arms. Just draw two straight lines, Bush Baby. Great work, Bush Baby. You are such a great artist. You're almost done, Bush Baby. Now, what else do you need to draw a body? Exactly. A body needs two legs. You can do it, Bush Baby. Oh, yeah. Well done, Bush Baby. Do you want to color it? Bush Baby, that looks just like your friend Akili. Wow, wow, Akili! Let's put your drawing up on the wall. That way, your friend Akili is never far away. Hello there, kids. Today I'm going to read you a great story. Happy Hippo loves to read stories too. Today's story is. My body is for... My feet are for walking and dancing around. My legs are for running and jumping up high. My knees are for kneeling and crouching down low. My arms are for carrying my little brother and hugging my mom and dad. My hands are for writing letters and clapping to music. My fingers are for holding and grabbing. My neck is for looking left and looking right. My mouth is for eating and speaking. 
my teeth are for biting and chewing. My tongue is for tasting and licking. My nose is for breathing and smelling. My eyes are for seeing and looking. My ears are for hearing and listening. My hair is for showing my style. My head is for thinking and dreaming. Put all these body parts together and you get me, a kid. The end. Did you enjoy that? Until next time, bye! Help your toddler strengthen their mind with Achilles Find the Pair Game. By trying to match picture cards, your toddler will improve their observation skills and develop persistence. Designed with kids in mind, Find the Pair is the perfect game to keep your child entertained while developing new skills. With eight levels of difficulty, your child will never get bored and will always have new challenges to learn from. Plus, no reading or language skills are required to enjoy the game. Download Find the Pair for free today on the Play Store. Learn and play with Achilles!